Hey, good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Tanya, Lady T, and this is another edition of All Aboard. Let's get on this train. Yes, good morning, good morning. As y'all can see, I'm in my baby number two car. I'll probably drive this mostly to work and this drive um, my Jeep maybe one or two times out of the week. <clears throat> That's my weekend leisure car. Um, I wanted to come on this morning and um, really talk about something serious. I guess this is like a public service announcement, if you will. Um, I want to talk about Facebook uh, and all that it entails. I try not to make this a very long video. Just to say this. Facebook is a wonderful tool instrument to be used when you need to get information out to a mass group of people we know this it's also good to um, you know catch up with old friends old classmates I mean I can't tell you how many people I have hooked up with network with uh, your classmates and you just lost touch of course you, you can't keep up with all of them and it's just amazing the things that you find out that they're doing and how they have progressed of course along in their life and you wind up networking with them, and, and it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, but there is a downside to Facebook. As we all who have a vlog or a YouTube channel, whatever we put out there, we have to understand that it is, it is ultimately out there for the world to see. And it is ultimately out there for people to critique, to criticize, to laugh, to cry, all those things. And as uh, mature people, we know if we put ourselves out there like that, people are going to be people and they're going to either be positive or they're going to be real negative. So the only thing I want to say about Facebook is that just because you may not be a friend of that person that's posting something on their wall, whether it be about you personally, whether they're hinting toward you, just because you are, are, are friends with someone doesn't mean that people who aren't friends with you are going to know about your posts. Again, honestly, Whatever you put out here, of course, we know that there are what we call trolls that roam around and just sit behind their keyboard and they're just going to be negative because either they don't have any self-esteem, they feel like they, they, they want to get a laugh of the day, they want to see whose feathers they can ruffle. I get that. I, I understand that. I don't even put no thought, well I won't say thought, but I don't even play to that. I really don't. Because when you know who you are in God, my God, no one can tell you something that's going to break you down. Especially, I'm talking about foolishness. You know, somebody make a crazy comment on your video. You know, it, it, it's foolishness. And you delete it and keep it moving. Um, But again, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. When you put something out there, you're the author of what you put out there. No one's telling you to put that out there. You are the one who have made whatever comment, whatever statement. So be aware that you're going to invite any and all kinds of either, again, positiveness or scrutiny or somewhere in between. So if you put something out there for the world to see, and again, I'm talking about grown folk. I'm talking about women and men that are mature grown folk. Now, if you put something out there and somebody makes a comment about it or they take it to whoever it was about, you cannot be mad at nobody but yourself because you are the author of your own confusion. Don't invite your um, low self-esteem, your issues, your problems. Don't invite that on other people. And surely, if you know you're a person that don't take criticism well, 
Surely, if you know within yourself that you are not well, you don't do good with if people aren't making comments that are just all positive. If you know that it's going to knock you out of the frame and cause you to go a little bit cuckoo up top, don't post stuff. Don't post it. If you don't want nobody to know what's going on in your personal life, you put a limitation on what you divulge. And again, for us mature folk, we know this. But they're always, you know, whether it be younger people or people who just are not logically thinking. That Facebook can be a booger bear, I'm going to tell you. Here recently, I have been put in the middle of some mess. And I'm telling you, it's pure mess from straight from hell. And I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it's, it, it's draining. It's tiring. And that is why I try my very best not to get into other people's business. I don't, I don't need, you know, I can pray for, me, for you from afar. I can pray for you and your family from afar. Because... What I might say to you privately to help you in your situation because you came to me for help. All of a sudden now, uh, I've been intertwined in some devilment. So, ouch, ouch, lesson learned, Tanya. Sometimes when it comes to people's families and their situation, even though they come to you for help and wisdom and advice, you have to know when to draw the line. And I have drawn the line in the sand that I love you as a person or whoever the situation may be. Um, I'm going to have to pray for you from afar. You can, you can no longer come and talk to me about deep personal issues as it relates to your family because it, people are very sensitive. And when you're trying to help a loved one or, or a friend or a coworker, whatever the situation be, sometimes when you put your mouth in it, you can wind up, uh, that person can wind up doing more harm than, than good because they don't know how to communicate to the person they're trying to mentor. They don't, they don't know how to communicate to them. So instead of learning, instead of saying something to somebody to help bring correction, you you speak to them that sends off triggers and bells for them to act foolish. And like I said, that's why I want to go to school so I can learn uh, for myself uh, how to really truly say key words that are unlock things versus causing people to go cuckoo for cocoa puffs. You know, it's like. We all have one of those type of friends or acquaintances or a co-worker where I don't know what it is. It's just whatever they say, it almost sends you on edge. It's their delivery. It's their tone. It's the way they say stuff. And it's like, ooh, every time that person talks and or, you know, tries to say something, it's like, man, they either sound too arrogant. They sound condescending. Everything is smart mouthy. So that's why it's important to me that when I'm speaking to someone, I'm speaking to them with the knowledge of knowing what it is that I'm going to say to them that's going to help unlock whatever confusion they got going on in their mind. But anyway, that's a whole nother situation. But specifically, again, talking about Facebook. All I can say this, I'm going to end this video with this. If you don't want people to comment, to criticize, to question, be mindful of what you post. Yes, it's your blog. Yes, it's your... Yes, we know that. But I'm talking about people who are out here to, to do good more so than bad. I ain't talking about foolishness. Be mindful what you... What you, what you put on your Facebook page. Be mindful of what you say about your family members. You may think it's funny, but to your family member, it could be a total and utter embarrassment. 
And you know another thing about Facebook, you know, when you when you work in a in a state that's an at will state and you going out here, you might be fabulous and all that on your job and everything, but if how you carry on on social media, you know, a lot of the companies now are putting a clause in there. And that's a contingency on, on being hired. You know, of course, they can't breach your personal life, of course. But if you are representing a company or you're seeking employment and your social media ain't nothing but a bunch of uh, mess, you, you, you're you very confrontational, you constantly start mess with people, you constantly just just negative, ain't nothing positive found on your social media. You could, you could just, that's almost like committing a uh, career suicide, you know? And of course your personal life, it is your personal life, but as soon as the camera is on, or as soon as you post something on your, on your site, your blog, your, any of that, and if you're not self-employed or you're not making your own money for yourself and you're actually going in and working a nine to five, and you're in a leadership role, or you may not necessarily be in a leadership role, but they might not want you uh, tearing down their brand. And you could cut your own throat by putting foolishness out there. So anyway, again, let's let's think about that too. Whenever we're putting stuff out on Facebook, and you know, and you're 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 tearing down your family. And your and, and people in the community think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. You just you could be destroying your own opportunities in life. Anyway, I, you know, like I said, I don't want to go in too deep about my situation because, like I said, I'm not going to talk about that. It's, I, you know, I have settled it um, in my mind, and it's unfortunate that, you know, the gift that God gives you in order to help, to counsel people, to, to bring about some peace, because God knows I try to be a peacemaker, but when you have given advice and you've given direction that you feel like the Lord has deposited into you and, and to give to other people and they continue to do the same thing they continue to go down the same path and they get the same continued results and then they shake their heads and put their heads in their in the palms of their hands and they say well I don't understand why this keep happening because you keep doing the same results you have to cut people off you have to cut scenarios off you have to let people know okay I'm not gonna let you tell my mess I'm going to tell my own mess. And guess what? Once it's out there, you no longer can dangle foolishness over my head. You, I'm no longer in fear of what you're going to say about me, whether it be my past or what I'm going through right now. You are no longer going to be able to hold. You don't have that power over me anymore. Okay, yeah, whatever was said about me was totally embarrassing. And, and, and I'm just doing a scenario, y'all. This is not what happened to me. Uh, this is what happened to someone else, and I got intertwined in it by trying to help. But what I'm saying is, is that when a person, it, let's say it's something that was really horrible that happened in your past, and here come that devil or that spirit of the devil that dwells in that person, and every time uh, they get an opportunity, it's almost like, um, okay, if you don't do what I say, I'm gonna dangle this over your head, and uh, I'm gonna reveal this. You know, what would your what would your people at church think? What would what would your people in your community think if they knew about you about this? So they hold this thing over your head, and they make all these different posts about you know your past, and then you're so busy trying to conceal that that you let this person just totally run rampant over your life but here's the thing whom the sun set free is free indeed you are never going to make me feel bad or guilty about something I know the Lord has forgiven me for and I went on my knees and repented and asked the Lord for forgiveness for it and you going to try to hold that against me 
Okay? I'm going to tell the truth and shame the devil. I'm gonna say, if, it, if it's that important and pertinent, and I'm walking around here having to drink stand back and drink prune juice so my bowels will finally get loose, I'm all, uh, you know, jacked up on the inside, scared, you know, somebody going to say something about what happened to me in my past, and I'm behold a new creature in Christ, and I confess the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, no, devil, you a liar. You're not going to hold that over my head. I'm not going to be in fear of what the next thing you're going to post about me on Facebook. Oh, no. I'm going to free myself and tell the truth and shame the devil. Put it all out there if need be so that you no longer can have control over my life. Every, every time you want something, you know, and I don't give it to you, you threaten me that, oh, I'm going to tell this. Like, like we in some kind of TV show soap opera. Oh, no. Take control of your life. Because guess what? If you did it in the past, it's the past. And that's what the enemy will do to us. He will try to hold our past against us. So we can't move forward in our now or in our future. So he, it, 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 it causes us to become stagnant. It causes us to allow folks to do any and everything they think about they want to do. But I, I, I be daggone if I'm going to allow the devil to dangle something over my head that I know the Lord has set me free and forget and has forgiven me for. Oh, no. So anyway, like I said, I know I've touched on a couple of little topics, but the basic part of what I was saying is let us be careful what we post on our Facebook pages. We don't know if we're going to be causing wrath to, to come and rev up in people. And also, too, if you're in a situation where somebody's trying to hold something over your head so that they can get what they want out of you, tell the truth and shame the devil. And you go on in Jesus because you know the Lord has forgiven you for those past transgressions. God Almighty, I thank you today. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and talk about that. It's Monday, y'all. We got five days to get it done. Yes. I'm excited about what the Lord's going to do this week. He's going to open doors. He's going to continue to give me my daily benefits. And Father God, I thank you that I know who I am. I am who you say that I am, Father God. And I thank you for forgiving me for my sins of the past. And you will and shall remember them no more. God Almighty, I thank you today. Anyway, y'all have a blessed week. God bless you. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye.